I'm going to show you the basics of Running to Win's Workout Calendar Creator today. Uh, to go ahead and find your Workout Calendar Creator, you can go ahead and find that either through the menu screen, go ahead and click on Menu, scroll across to Tools, and you can select Workout Planner, or alternatively, you can also just go to your team, your team section of your website and select one of your teams. I'll go ahead and do that. This is my sample summer team. Bring me up to my team page. And I'm going to find the workout calendar creator under training plan. And so creating training plans for your team members. So I'll click on that. All right, so this is what your, your workout calendar creator looks like. And so I already went ahead and preloaded two different calendars that I created. But to create one from scratch, you're going to go ahead and select the new button. Go ahead and name your calendar. Select create. And then you'll go ahead and you'll have a fresh calendar to start from scratch there. Over here on the left, you can go ahead and create different templated workouts. So if you have different, for instance, different tempo workouts you did you know, that you normally will assign to your team, you go ahead and just select add and go ahead and create a sample workout there. You can go ahead and save that. So I preloaded a few different workouts I've done here for whether it's hill training, normal runs, long runs. And so I'll show you what it looks like for a training plan already set up. So we'll go ahead and select Boys Cross Country. You'll see down here, so I've set up a program for basically the month of July. And you can see here I have a five mile aerobic run, I have a hill workout here, and then some strength training, followed by an easy day, followed by another easy day with a little bit, some short sprints, followed by a tempo day, cross training day, and a long run day adds up all the mileage over here in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. So a total of this week of 37 miles, gradually progressed all these workouts building up towards the end of July. And so to go ahead and to create a workout, uh, you can go ahead, like I said, use your workout library. So I'll show you how to do it down here. So we'll say for August 1st, I wanna I'll go ahead and just click on that day. And I can go ahead and select for my workout library this way. For instance, maybe I wanna go ahead and just do a six mile run, select that, it'll automatically program the volume in there. Go ahead and save it, and there it goes, it shows up there. So maybe I wanna go ahead and also do some strength training, so I'll go ahead and collect, select cross training and other. I have my strength training program there, and I can also just drag and drop a workout as well and put it right into that day there as well. And so two different ways to go ahead and add a workout onto your calendar. And so the next thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is to go ahead and assign this workout calendar here to one of the athletes on your team or to a group of them. And so currently this isn't assigned to anybody. So it says zero members assigned. I'll go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to click add members. And I'm going to go ahead and assign this one to Kevin Matthew. So I'll go ahead and click the blue button here, add. Go ahead and close that. And then, let's see, I wanna go ahead for my other team member, I'm gonna assign them a different program, the middle distance program. And so I preloaded, I already filled in a program for the first week of July here. I'm gonna go ahead and assign this calendar that I previously created. I'm gonna assign that to, to Hoya Saxa here. So I'll go ahead and select add, close, and now both of these programs have been assigned to different members of my team. So this is a real easy way that you can assign a program to either individually to each person on your team. You can create a calendar or do it based on groups, your middle distance group, distance group, or your boys team, your girls team, any different way you want to do it. And so, so this is the coach's view of how it looks for a coach when you log into your team page. I'm going to show you now, this is what it looks like for one of your athletes here on your team. So this is for Kevin Matthew. And so... When he logs into the team page, this is what it looks like. To find out what he has assigned for training today, just clicks on training plan. I'll go ahead and refresh this view to get the program that I just recently assigned to him. Press training plan, and then I'll see for his whole month of July, it'll be programmed into his calendar. And so he can go ahead and so say today he did the five mile aerobic run that was assigned. He can go ahead and click perform workout and then that'll automatically show up in that training log 
for his workout. So it makes logging also easier for the individual athlete. And so, so that's a quick glimpse of Running to Win's Workout Calendar Creator. Really helpful tool to help you assign different training programs to athletes on your team.